Hey everyone, this is Connor Mead with the Calculation Center here again, and I'm here to do another video in our Linear Algebra series. In this video we'll be talking about the span of vectors, and how to identify whether a vector is or is not in that span. Okay, so here we've just got the definition first of all. We say that a vector, w, is in the span of some vectors, v1 to v2 up to vn, so this is a collection of n different vectors. Um, if there exists a1 to an, some real numbers, such that w is equal to a1 times v1 plus a2 times v2 dot 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 plus a n to v n. Now you might know in your course that this thing on the right hand side is called a linear combination. Um, so the question is to say, is there a linear combination of v1 to v n uh, such that that linear combination is w? Okay. And so what this question might look like in practice is, is the vector 3, 2, 2 uh, in the span of minus 1, 2, 4 and 3, minus 2, 5? So in this example, we'd have uh, this 3, 2, 2 would be our w, and this mi minus 1, 2, 4 would be our v1, and this 3, minus 2, 5 would be our v2. And the question is, to write out literally, i.e., does there exist... And notice we have two vectors here, v1 and v2, so in our case n is equal to 2. Uh, does there exist a1 and a2 such that, uh, such that, uh, 322 is equal to a1 times minus 1, excuse me, minus 1, 2, 4, plus a2 times 3 minus 2, 5. Or, by using what we know about adding and subtract, uh, adding, adding and scaling vectors, this becomes, this right-hand side is actually equal to minus a1 plus 3a2, is the first component of the vector of these two combined, uh, 2a1 minus 2a2, and 4a1 plus 5a2. So we see, indeed, this is, again, a system of linear equations. If you've seen our video on linear independence, this should remind you a bit of it, because from here we can we do the same thing as we do in that video and change this into a matrix equation of the form um, 3, 2, 2 is equal to minus 1, 3, 2, minus 2, 4, 5, um, applied to the vector a1, a2. Okay, so now the question is, does this system of equation have solutions? And if it has solutions, then a1 and a2, then uh, 3, 2, 2 is in the span of these two vectors. And if it doesn't have solutions, then it's not. Okay, and again, I'd like to pay another comparison to the linear independence video. Um, notice that the columns of this matrix, this matrix down here, uh, the columns, the first column is minus 1, 2, 4, which is our first vector. And the second column is 3, minus 2, 5, which is our second vector. So the question of whether some vector is in the span of some other vectors actually comes down to solving the equation um, of the w is equal to the matrix you get by combining v1 and v2 applied to a1 and a2. Uh, when I say combine here, I obviously mean taking them as columns. Okay, and this is holds in true in general, so this can be a shortcut to skip to the end to this step in your problem. Now this is of course just a system of linear equations which you're hopefully able to solve by now, but we'll go through it anyway. But I'll go through it quickly. So we convert it to an augmented matrix form immediately, which is just another way of writing out the equation. Um, let's add uh, two copies of row one to row two and four copies of row one to row three. So four times, this is seven. Um, if it was multiplied by this before, this would be 14. Um, and then notice that these last two rows are actually saying zero, two, oh, sorry, zero, one, two, and zero, one, two. So our last two rows are the same, which means this whole system reduces down to minus one, three, zero, one, 3, 2, uh, 0, 0, 0, because we can we just subtract rows here. Um, which And so this is looking like there'll be a solution. So 
And now we're going to subtract three copies of row two from row three. Uh, from row one, I should say. So we get minus one, zero, um, subtracting out six, so we get minus three, zero, one, two, zero, zero, zero. And so we get out that um, A1 is equal to three, or minus A1 is equal to minus three, and A2 is equal to two. And if we com compare this to our initial question, if we substitute in A1, uh, let's just do a little note here, um, if A1 is equal to 3 and A2 equal to 2, then what do we get? Then that first vector becomes A1 times minus two, 1, 2, 4 becomes minus 3, 6, 12, and A2 times this is uh, 6 minus 4, 10, and these are clearly equal to 3, 2, 2, as desired. So indeed, A1 equals 3 and A2 is equal to 2 is a solution. So the takeaway from all of that is that indeed, yes, our two vectors are in the span of... Uh, this, ve uh, this vector 3, 2, 2 is in the span of minus 1, 2, 4 and 3, minus 2, 5. Okay? Um, so now we're just going to go briefly over into this example, which is a little more complicated. But we're going to take what we learned in the last one to go through it a bit quicker. Okay? So we worked out in the last part that to solve this question, we just need to check whether the equation where we put in, so we set up a matrix equation with a matrix given by the columns of the vectors that we're checking of the span. So these are the vectors, v1, v2, and v3, uh, applied to the vector a1, a2, a3. In general, this goes down to n if you have n vectors here. And you set it equal to 2, 1, um, 1, 0. Oh. Okay? So you get sent this w over here. And from here, we just have to solve this equation, which isn't too bad, even though it's a 4 by 3 matrix. 1 minus 1, 3. 1, 0, 2. 1, 2, minus 2, 1, 0, 1. Bar 2, 1, 1, 0. And from here, we just proceed with the normal Gaussian elimination to see if we get any solutions. Uh, 1, minus 1, 3, 2. None of this will change. Subtracting this off, we'll get 0, 1, minus 1, uh, minus 1. Subtracting this off, we'll get 0, 3, minus 5, minus 1. And subtracting this off, we'll get 0, uh, 1, uh, minus 2, um, minus 2. Okay? That's subtract subtracting row 1 from all the lines. Now we'll get... Um, so, this is our first pivot, this is our second pivot, so we want to use this 1 to get rid of this 3 and 1 now. So you get 1 minus 1, 3, 2, that won't change. The second line won't change. Um, 0, 3, 5. So how do we get rid of this? We'll want to subtract off 3 copies of row 2 from row 1. Um, so what does that come down to? That will actually get us 2 minus 2, because subtracting off 3 minus 1s will be the same as adding 3. And this is the same over here, so it'll be 2. And subtracting off here, we'll get um, 0, 0, minus 1. This will get 2, minus 1. And this will get 2, minus 1. Um, and then we'll actually notice something about the last few lines. Let's make sure I got this right. Yep. And the last few lines will reduce down to a contradiction. Because this last line says 0, 0. Uh, if we divide across by minus 2, it'll get 0, 0, 1, minus 1. And we divide across by minus 1 in this line, we get 0, 0, 1, 1. Um, and these two things can't be, well, to be out a little more explicit, this line then reduces to... To be clear, what's going what's the problem being foreseen here is that this last line basically says A3 is equal to minus 1, and this last line says A3 is equal to 1, and since both can't simultaneously be true, we've got a contradiction. But to do it out in a little more traditional manner of seeing how it's a contradiction, we just subtract row, one, uh, row 3 from row 4 to get 0, 0, 0, um, 2. And since now we have 0a1 plus 0a2 plus 0a3 is equal to 2, uh, there's no solutions.
no solutions, which the conclusion to this would therefore be, if we go back to our original question, this vector 2, 1, 1, 0 is not in the span of these three vectors. Okay, so I hope that made sense to everyone. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.